Operational amplifiers, or better known as op amps, are devices that amplify or modify a signal with a differential input and typically a single output. With such versatile abilities, op amps are common fundamental components. Often you'll see op amps represented in one of two ways within a schematic. The first is the full symbol, showing the supply voltage ports. The second type of symbol that you may come across will not display the positive and negative supply voltages. Op amps function by receiving a non-inverting and an inverting input. Then in an ideal scenario, amplify the signal difference between the inputs, making these differential amplifiers that have a high, almost infinite, gain potential. If a signal is applied to the non-inverting input, an amplified signal with the same waveform appears at the output. If the same signal is applied to the inverting input, an amplified signal with an inverted waveform will appear at the output. However, if an identical signal is applied to both inputs, the signal difference is zero, and so the output has no waveform and zero gain. Op amps are extremely versatile devices, so there are many types to choose from. Each individual type is made for optimal functionality for specific uses. But where would you even begin to select one? First, let's look at the ideal op amp which is a perfect model for implementing the math to find the one that suits your needs. The ideal op amp includes these key features. Infinite gain from the input to the output. Infinite input impedance or resistance found at the input. The higher the impedance on the input, the lower the impedance on the output. Zero input bias current or no current flowing into the inputs. Zero input offset voltage or identical inputs resulting in an output of zero. Infinite bandwidth or range in which the op amp's gain remains unaffected by frequency. Infinite slew rate, which is a measurement of how quickly the output port responds to changes in the output signal. Of course, this cannot exist due to many varying factors. However, these are the most important factors to look at when selecting an op amp. So let's look into them a little more in depth. There are two main types of gain, open loop and closed loop. Open loop gain occurs when there is no feedback from the output of the op amp to the inverting or non-inverting input. This gain is simply the op amp's overall gain, determined by the difference in voltage between the two inputs as shown earlier with the signal waveforms. This is not practical due to the gain potential of the amplifier, so closed loop gain circuits are used. Closed loop gain occurs when the feedback loop is set up from the output to the input. This can be connected to either an inverting or non-inverting input. Inverting is almost always associated with amplifying circuits, whereas non-inverting is used where high input impedance and low output impedance is desired. Just like having a stronger signal placed on the inverting input in an open loop configuration, feeding the signal back into the inverting input in a closed loop configuration will create a more stable non-inverted output. Closed loop circuits are used to better control and dampen the gain of the op amp, resulting in a more predictable operation. Now that you understand the basic functionality and characteristics of op amps, you can search thousands available on digikey.com to be incorporated into your next project. Want to watch more videos like this? Like and subscribe!